What happened was one day in my classroom, one of my students, Ken Mars, had gone down to Maternity of the Blessed Virgin Mary, which was the grade school he went to on North Avenue in Humboldt Park in Chicago. And he went down there for some kind of anniversary and came back and talked about it in my painting class in Glen Ellen. To our complete surprise, there were other people in the painting class who had gone to this school. It was the spring of 2011. Ken said, what would you think if we put out the word and started collecting up books for the library? Well, long story short, that library, which is now coming into being this week, is 4,000 books strong. Then what happened was Ken brought me down there last September and said, oh, they want the building decorated as well, right? <laughs> Which sounds great, but when you're working with a hundred year old architecture was kind of a muralist nightmare. So when I walked into the school, I realized that the walls were not in good enough shape to do murals on. So then what we did was we put out a call to alumni and through the students in my class who had gone there and they contacted people and then people started sending in photos. So we were able to do portraits of the children over the 50s and 60s and 40s and 70s in their uniforms and things like that. This is a painting um, from 1970 of um, me, I'm Eve, and my sister Lily. She was five years older. We both attended uh, maternity BVM, so it's nice to be able to give something to the school to really liven it up because the walls are pretty bare and it, it's nice for the kids to know the history of their um, school. This picture is probably something representing my age of when I was seven or eight years old. So this would be a third or fourth grade picture that I'm doing of myself. Now obviously you can see it's far from being finished so we're working on it but just to compare this is the one that's finished this one's in progress. That is Mary Maluli Mensch um, as an adult. But this is her, uh, she's seven years old in this picture. And that's what we wanted to capture so that the kids at the school could see who went to the school there before they did. We tried to make the portraits as specific as we could with the resources we had. And then if we didn't have specific resources, then we used a lot of family photos from school days, all the way back to 1912. Good morning, everybody. Well, we are so excited to be here. What we are going to be doing today is really celebrating God's creatures and you're going to have a chance to paint one of those things, but it's going to be very interesting. I had this idea because I had done a mural in a Chicago public school once along these lines also where I had a staircase. And of course, little kids go up the staircase and they're always looking at their hands and holding onto the railing and everything. So I was thinking, just like we always love to see the marks on the wall, how much a child has grown, over the years, I thought, wouldn't it be fun if you draw around your hand when you're in kindergarten, and then when you're a big eighth grader, you get to put your hand next to that hand and see how much you've grown. When I talked to my students later, and they could see how they could have an idea, like, let's do a porcupine. And then the child comes back and they're like, let's do SpongeBob. You know, that the children had some ideas, and then sometimes it was a dialogue between them. Some children were timid about putting on a drawing, but then couldn't wait to get to that paint. I think it's really good for the art students to see that non-critical, just excitement again about materials, about subject matter. Children energy is always the best when it comes to that kind of freedom. So hopefully it frees them up a little bit too. When Jennifer said, I have anywhere from 30 to 35 volunteers, if you walk into this building and in the other building and you see 30 to 35 volunteers, that's, that speaks volumes for Jennifer and the entire group that's here today. And they're going up and down those steps and they're working with the kids or they're making, the mixing the paints or whatever. They're all part of a project 
that is helping my school look so much better. They're enjoying their time with the kids. It's wonderful. Well, I always love doing projects like this where my art students get to get out in the community and work with either children, we've worked with homeless people, we've worked with children with disabilities, because I think it helps my artists understand how to bring out someone else's talent. And those experiences sometimes will, in my students from COD, also spark something. So it's just so win-win for everyone as artists, as, as maybe an art teacher, and the kids are just felt so spoiled. They felt really spoiled. They don't even have an art program there. So to be able to be allowed to paint and work with someone one-on-one, -on -one, and these big guys come and these beautiful young girls, and I think they just felt like a college student paid attention to me. Mm -hmm.